Give me another mortar right there. Fire! Oh, dang, those guys flew. Hello everyone, Blaine Sarge here. Welcome to a look at a brand new game that has been out for a, uh, not that long. It's still in early access, and I would like to thank the developers over at Echo Entertainment for sending me a key. And no, they are not paying me to look at this game or anything. They just sent it to me and thought I'll, I'll be interested in taking a look. So I would like to say thank you so much for them. Um, but the reason I want to say that is because since they're not paying me, I'm going to give my honest opinion about this game. If it's good, it's good. If it's not, I will say it's not. Um, I did test this game out, uh, checking it out, seeing how it works. I plan on playing for about an hour four hours later i'm still playing that gives you an idea this game is actually relatively really addicting um i'm quite far into the campaign uh but we're gonna for this little review we're gonna start a brand new campaign so without further ado let's get started there is only one difficulty that is if you can play you can if not you don't play you can't really change the difficulty setting is that are under attack by the yeah all right, so this gives you a little bit of backstory of what's going on. After refusing to trade their advanced weapons technology their, with their warmongering Imperium. Ah, Imperion. Yeah, anyways. So pretty much this other group came along and they want all the technology. And the good guys who we play as say no. Yeah, this would be fun. Yeah, the odds are way against us. In desperation, the uh, Turan High Council made a radical decision, granting full oper ah, operational command of the Turan class battle station to prevent warmongering. Yeah, anyway. Welcome, Commander. Oh, yeah. Here we go. All right, here we go. Uh, we're going to just get rid of that. We do not need this. All right, so right now the world is 50% controlled by us. That's the, these guys right here in the blue. The red over here is also controlled half the planet. So here we go. So we have our first invasion high cliffs. Uh, so over here we have forge. We can upgrade weapons. Let's get rid of that. We don't need that. Uh, improve them, make them stronger and whatnot. Also, we have in the research... We can unlock a lot of new equipment. Go away. Okay, I don't, I, I don't want that. All right, so here we can improve not only our main building's defense gun, but we can also upgrade to get more defenses, more type of soldiers, and upgrade them. Um, aircraft, bombers, gunships, all that stuff. We'll get into that in just a moment. Um, but yes, there is a lot. It might seem confusing, but as we play along, you guys are going to see that it's really not that bad. All right, so let's head into the campaign. First mission, we're going to get uh, 228 power. That's this right here. Uh, five blue energy uh, standard power cores, which are these guys right here. These are what's going to unlock all your equipment and whatnot. Uh, purple is for more advanced in larger structures, massive power cores are for the huge buildings that are just ridiculous. And then over here we have, these are more used for like research, unlocking better stuff. That's what this is. So this is unlock buildings and upgrade buildings and build buildings. This is for research. This is your currency. So power is currency. All right, so let's begin the invasion. So this game is like a lot of other tower defenses out there. No, actually, I take that back. It's not like other tower defenses out there. So we have our base right here, as you can see. And uh, as you progress and build more stuff, you can uh, gain more research. You can just unlock more stuff and build. So we hit space bar. These are all your build plots, okay? Uh, these are for the large buildings, uh, obliterator and uh, Declamator, I, I don't really, I haven't gotten to those yet on my test game. Then we have defensive structures like the Alleg, uh, 
can't pronounce that. But that allows us to build shields. Yes, you can have shields around your base, which are really cool. We have Sam sites and strikers. Strikers, I like. Sam sites, I don't know. And these allow all the other small buildings that build like warriors, regular point defenses, and whatnot, and what have mm -hmm. you. All right, so where are the bad guys going to be spawning? Right here. Okay, here we go. Oops, wrong button. Let's hit, let's hit the right button. Oh, yeah. It's very satisfying. Okay, let's get rid of all these trees. We don't need trees. Let's get, if I can even hit them. These trees are just going to get in the way. All right, here comes the other guy. Let's fire a mortar. Hit F. There we go. Oh, goodbye. Ah, oh, he gone. So this game gets really satisfying. Fire mortar. There's a guy with the rocket incoming. Oh yeah. Let's take out the rocket guy. He's more deadly. All right, he's down. Now, these are the Vanguard. They have two little guns. All right, that one's down. Oh yeah, go down. Fire mortar. Boom! Didn't do anything, but we got him. So, as you can see, this game can get really satisfying, and it's it gets easy. It's easy in the beginning, but as you increase, the difficulty ramps up steeply to the point where you're literally just like shooting in every direction, just telling everybody to die, die, die. <laughs> it gets insane. All right, so now we have research and some money. We can now buy some stuff, and we push the enemy back a little bit. This will keep moving. I haven't fully understood what this is about, but yeah, we'll get to that. All right, so research. We want to research the, uh, <clears throat> excuse me. So what we can get first is guardians, which are your melee fighters. They just kind of think of Spartans. They just sit there and jab at the enemy, make sure they don't get close. And then we have interceptors, and then we have uh, raptors. Raptors are your basic anti-whatever turret, which we might end up grabbing this. Uh, yeah, we're gonna grab this, unlock it. There we go. I'm gonna save up my money for now because I would like to put down a turret when we get in the, in the next mission. All right, so as you can see, we're gonna get it, it keeps varying and changing. You'll get missions where there's like 700, 800 of this, nothing else. And it's like, do you really want to do it? You gotta kind of balance where you're gonna go. Hi, yo, hi, yo, ginger nerd. How you doing? All right, so where are the bad guys? Where are... All right, I'd, for a second, I thought maybe the stream didn't have my voice. So if you just heard an accidental feedback, I do apologize. I would just make sure this stream, for some reason, actually has... They can hear me. Um, yeah. yeah, by the way, I am actually streaming this live over on Twitch. So if you guys missed it, I do apologize that you missed it. Uh, yeah, I stream every Saturday at noon Pacific Standard Time. All right, he's down. Reload the gun. Oh, get it, get it, get it. Ah, I missed. All right, come on. Oh, come on. Got him. All right, who's next? Oh, get it, get it, get it. I gotta aim for this guy right here. Rocket troopers are the most deadly to you. Oh, eat it, dude. Oh, yeah. Oh, that was so close. And he's down. And that's it. I promise you it will start getting harder. And the more stuff you put down, I think it starts to get even harder. <laughs> All right. So we got a fair bit of money. Now we can start putting down some turrets. Oh, we can put down a few. Invasion. All right. Yeah. 
invasions are interesting. Uh, so let's go in here, and we're going to build some turrets in this round. The first couple of matches, you can literally just, like, go through real quick and not worry about anything. Um, but definitely later on, you want to pick and choose your attacks. <clears throat> All right. So what we want to do is go over here. we got to spend 50 in one energy, uh, blue energy just to unlock this. And we're going to put a raptor here. Raptor here. And the reason I'm putting them out furthest away is it honestly looks a lot better having your turrets all the way out. And then towards the middle, you can have all your warrior command stuff. All right. So we're going to unlock this for next time. All right. There we go. All right. Let's do it. Tor mortar out. Goodbye. That was almost a direct hit. Goodbye. Get off our plateau. I'm gonna let these guns do some work. <clears throat> so let's let's get rid of some of this stuff. Get it out of the way. Yeah, our turrets are now engaging. See? Torpedoes out. God, torpedoes. God, why do I keep saying that? Mortars out. <laughs> Did a fair bit of damage. I missed. How did I miss with the mortar? All right, who's next? Oh, that's it. I'm so used to where I'm at in the campaign where it, there's no way you ever get that easy. <laughs> All right, so did a fair bit there. All right, now we can probably start working. Oh, do I want to work on interceptors? You know, interceptors are nice, especially when you do the missions where you have to fight swarms of enemies. So that will probably be a thing we're going to do. Um, but what I really want to get are these, the guardians. Sorry, rangers. All right. Let's go back to the campaign. And now we get to pick and choose where we want to go. I want to go to this one because we get more. Of everything compared to this so we're gonna go here yeah I, I don't see why you wouldn't go there all right let's do it welcome to the lagoon right, where are they spawning Motor's out. Boom. And it's a miss. Make sure there's nothing else. Come on. I'm looking for the, the red smoke. Oh, there they are. That was way off. Good shot. Can we buy anything right now? Uh, kind of. I mean, hmm. Yeah, sure, let's grab that. All right, what's next? Mortar out. Ah, see, they're, they're getting a bit more. Hey. 
Come on, go down. Go down. Oh, nailed him. So they had a few more there. Not too bad. Music's pretty good, too. I won't lie. So I I'm really enjoying this game. A lot. I don't know how much it is over on Steam, but it's not that bad. And it has a lot of replayability because you can decide that you want to do nothing but turrets in one game. Another game, you can do nothing but an army. What You can just switch it around, which is really cool. All right, so air raids. Oh, goody. Uh, we're going to go with this because we need the money right now. And this stuff, too. So let's go here. Air raid is where they send fighters, and later on they start sending uh, bombers and gunships, and it just it gets insane. And for those of you wondering, yes, you can upgrade the turret that I have up here. It just requires research. All right, go away. All right, so. Let's get some rangers online. That's all we can get for right now. And we could upgrade those so they can get even more. That's one down. I know the motor can't do anything, I just like shooting it. Right, one left. Uh, we took a little bit of damage there. Alright, that's it. First little air raid. Like I said, it's not bad, but later on you have like hundreds of those things. And it just gets insane. Alright, now I want to upgrade the rangers. The reason being, you can actually upgrade how many units you get per module. I believe you can get it up to 10, I, I believe. So you, you, it gets insane. So two of them, that'll give you, yeah, you, you can already see where that's going. All right, so let's go to research. All right, where is it? Crap. Now we need an orange, one of those to get even better re uh, stuff. All right. Um, so we're gonna have more rangers, which is gonna be very helpful. Let's go back to campaign. And we want to do this one, because we're gonna want these. So let's do it. Which will suck, because we won't get any more of these, but you know, gotta do what we gotta do. All right, let's do it. Like I said, you start to have to pick and choose where you need to go and what you need. See, now we got a few more of these guys. Take him down, take him down. There we go. I was about to say, who's next? All right, so it wasn't too bad. All right, now that we have that, we can increase them even more. That one's so bad. So I want the money. I want the money though. Hmm. 
Hmm. I think we go with this one. I think that's gonna be the best one out of them all. I didn't honestly look at the enemy invasion uh, size because it will actually give you kind of a idea if it's gonna be a heavy swarm of units or if it's gonna be a light swarm of units. Let's do this. Right. Mortars out. Uh, this is the other reason why I love the Rangers. Because they just get knocked back from the arrows. Got him. Oh, that's gonna hurt. Ah, come on. Got him. My guys are pretty much cleaning up the mess. I literally get to sit here and watch. Oh, no. I was about to say, don't tell me that's it. Nope, it's not. Him up. Oh, look at him down. Nah, he's down. Come on, guys, let him up. out boom direct hit that wasn't so bad I'm hoping the difficulty starts ranking up a little bit here Day eight. So, a little heavier presence. All right, we're gonna go for this one. Uh, can we upgrade anything right now? Interceptors. Yeah, I'm gonna have to work on getting interceptors soon. All right. We didn't make any money this time, but hey, we know we're, we're, we're getting there. We're gonna go here. It's a little bit higher. We, it's not a light presence. It's actually a, a heavy presence of enemy, so it should be a little, little harder. Just a little. Should be too bad though. Look at all that infantry. Oh yeah. So where are you buggers gonna land? Ooh, here we go. Ooh, that's gotta hurt. Okay, seriously, guys. 
You gotta finish them off. Thank you. Water out. Ooh, he can fly. There you go. Nailed him. Sweet. All right, who's next? That can't be it. Okay, good. Let's say I'll get bored if that was it. that rocket guy. more back there nope Whew, that was fun this game is slightly addicting I, I won't lie uh, especially when you have nothing else to do you're just kind of sitting around this is a fun game to play all right Air raids, of course. That's a light presence. We could go for this one. Only downside is we don't have any interceptors at all. You know, let's go for the heavy. And we'll drop down some... Air Force of some kind down, hopefully. Come on. Okay, so we're going to put Air Force here. All right, now we got some interceptors. Come on, boys. Take them down. The archers are trying to help. Ooh, ooh, take that down. Ah, he's down. Thank God. That does a lot of damage. That's one. Where's the rest of you? That was pretty cool. I always like the flying ones. Because it reminds me of Independence Day. All your fighters are out number, they're like, oh my god, they're everywhere! Alright. <clears throat> Day 10. We're definitely going to need some more red and money. So we're going here. So we're going to be doing a siege battle. Oh, God. Siege are fun. That's when they bring in tanks. So we'll see how we hold up against this. Actually, what am I worried about? We should be fine. Send some more guns. Crap. Okay.
Here they come. I got the gunship. Ah, that's a mammoth tank. Take it down. Oh, that's a mammoth tank. And it's gone. The more scary when they come in packs of like 10, then they're more scary. Because some of them actually start getting shields. Then it gets nuts. So how's the stream going for everybody? You guys enjoying the stream over there? I hope so. Alright. Uh... All right, air raid. We're gonna definitely want this for the money, so let's do it. <clears throat> and with this, we should be able to get a few more interceptors and stuff that we need. Grab this. Let's then grab you. I'll have you ready for the next time. Because we can't afford it right now. Okay, there we go. So now three interceptors. That should do a lot better. I'm watching for the bombers. Watch for the bombers. No bombers? Okay, light them up. Oh crap, bomber inbound, bomber inbound. There we go, bring him down, boys. Bring him down. Oh, just barely. Woo, god dang, that was close. All right, light him up, light him up, light him up, light him up. Oh, my poor fighters. I love having an air force in this game. Because <laughs> they also will attack ground units as well. But that's good, but you know, it's free DPS you don't have to worry about. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Alright. Uh, let's take a look. So now we have full control, which... I don't know what that means, but sure. Now we're going to need blue crystals. Oh, only one? Well, this sucks. Uh, see what kind of research we can get since we have a lot of free money. Uh, well, I, say, I shouldn't say free money, but a lot of money nonetheless. Let's upgrade our interceptors. Make them a little more tough. We can afford it. Because that means they'll last a lot longer. Alright, where is this? Alright, I want to save it for this guy right here. We need one red crystal. Once we get that, we'll have the ability to get a large structure, which this is a shield, right? Yeah, this will allow us to have a shield on our base, which is going to be very, very useful. We need a red, which is the one we're going to go to. So it kind of works out. So let's do it. Right, we're gonna keep our eyes open for the bombers. I'll let my fighters and everything else engage the uh, theirs. Which way are you coming from, guys? Which way are you coming from? All right, fighters, why don't you guys stick together? Okay, here we go. Here we go. Keep your eyes open. Keep your eyes open. We gotta nail that bomber. Here he comes. I see a shadow. Oh, there's multiple. That's even worse. Oh, I was hoping the mortar would hit him, but no, he's going down. Look at him going down. He's going down. Yeah, for our fighters. How many fighters are left? All three of our fighters are still in the air. Sweet. <clears throat> All right. Now we can unlock the shield tech, which is going to be very useful.
Let's go unlock that. Yes. Alright. Uh, campaign. Okay. Uh, so we have another air battle. A siege. Ooh. Extreme enemy resistance expected. Ooh, now this is where it's going to start getting fun. Kind of. I don't want to do a Skyfall. I hate Skyfalls. Those are my least favorite missions. Siege means tanks. Air raid, well, we just did one of those. Uh, let's do a Siege. We need the money a little bit more. All right, let's do it. We're deployed. All right, here we go. Uh, what can we get? One more Air Force guy. Okay, it wouldn't hurt. And then eventually I'm going to start unlocking these. We have enough of those. Fighters trap. All right, light him up. Light him up. Who's next? No, that's it. Man, I was expecting just a little bit more. I'm so used to playing on my other uh, game where I'm a lot farther. I'm like, I think I was like on day 60. It just it gets insane. Or there'll be like those four more of those and rocket tanks, shield tanks, and you're just literally at that point spraying in their general direction. Hopefully you hit something and launch the motor every time it recharges. All right. Um... Yeah, we're going to do this one. More money, more of these. We need that. Yeah, we're going to do it. And it's a high level concentrated of enemies. So it's extreme enemy resistance. Yes. Let's do it. Uh, no, I do not want to research anything right now. However, I want to look and see what it's cost again for the shield. I don't remember. All right, so God, this game does look really, really gorgeous. All right, so back here. So we need a purple. We don't have enough yet. Okay. We're going to unlock these for the next time when we have enough. And let's do it. Watch out for the bombers. Way to go, fighters. Work together, work together. I'm waiting for those bombers. I know the bombers are coming. Okay, here comes another wave. There's the bombers. There's any bombers. Okay, let's start doing. Let's start taking the guys down. Uh, one of our fighters is down. You do get him back at the uh, and start of the next mission. Or battle, I should say. It's not a mission. They're down. this game i really do love that the devs were kind enough to send me this game it is so addicting <laughs> i've been playing it non-stop i think even when i'm done doing this video i'm gonna make even i'm just gonna play it a lot more all right so we need a purple and we don't even have anywhere near eh. okay so invasion 
Okay. See if there's anything I can upgrade. Yeah, I can grab that. All right. Now they're maxed out. Okay, so let's go here. Boy. All right. Welcome to the Oasis, boys. Now we can get some more interceptors. I do love me some interceptors. Man, I don't have enough energy shard. Dang it, I don't have enough blue energy. coming from now guys motor out oh right on top of you I literally have enough archers. I don't have to worry about anything right at the moment. That was a good shot. All right, do they have any rocket guys in here I need to worry about? Come on. Got him. Oh. Oh, I didn't even see all this coming. Got him. Yeah, those rocket guys you gotta watch out for. They'll sit long range outside your guys' fire and they'll sit there and just start lobbing rockets at your structures. That's not a good thing. Alright, let's begin. We're kind of right now just waiting. We need that other shard. We need, we don't really have anything. We can't build anything, so we have to keep going. I remember, was this a siege? Yep, this is a siege. One down. Bring that mammoth down, boys. Freaking things in the way. And he hurts. He really hurts. Look at that. Oof. Ow. That's why we need shields. When those tanks come out, you just die quickly. Alright, 
please. First purple one we see, we're going for it. That's not what I need. That's not what I need. I want to go for this one because I do need red crystals. Yeah, we're going to go for that one. It's not like we're short on money right now. <laughs> So, what do you guys think of this game? Is this a game you guys really enjoy? Uh, you guys do. Uh, I don't know how much it is on Steam, but I'll leave a link for it on Steam. Uh, it, it is a very good, enjoyable game. I do highly recommend people give it a try. Um, for a game being an early access, it is really good, and they are listening to everybody's feedback. They are listening to the fans. It, uh, it's it's really good uh, community. I mean, they're gracious enough to send me a copy. Come on now. So yeah, I would definitely give this game a thumbs up. Those guys flew. Guardians. Oh, I saw you. Fire mortar at him. All right, everyone, this is Blaine Sarb signing out. Hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. If you guys are watching this over on YouTube, thank you guys so much for tuning in. Remember, if you guys want to follow the channel and keep up to date what is going on, make sure you subscribe, follow the channel, and also hit the bell notification icon. That way you don't miss any uploads. Also, if you want to follow me, you guys can follow me over on Twitter as well as my Discord. Links for those will be in the description down below. Also, if you guys, um, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, want to talk with me, hang out with me and other YouTubers and other gamers and have loads of more fun, you guys can head on over to my Discord. Links for that will be in the description down below. Uh, also, yeah, guys, you let me know what you think about this look at this game. Uh, if it's something you guys will enjoy. Um, I am going to do a second part to this review. I'm going to be posting this in two parts. So there will be more coming. 
Um, also, I'd like to take a moment to say thank you so much to my Patreon supporters. Thank you guys so much for going the extra mile to help support the channel during these hard times. If you guys also want to help support the channel, there will be a link in the description down below as well at the end of the video. So till next time, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Take care, guys, and remember, have an awesome day.